Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hey, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hello. How are you? I am. I am in route to my home. Oh, okay, okay. Be careful, please. Yes, of course. Very good. And the rest of you, everyone. Good evening. How are you tonight? Who else is there? Hey, everyone. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, Erica. How are you? I'm eating. <laughs> ah, all right. Yes. It's all right. Enjoy. <laughs> all <laughs> Thank right. You. Very good. Very good. I can see Lucy. Hello, Lucy. How do you feel? Hi, teacher. I feel much better. Thank you. Excellent. I'm happy to hear that. Very good. Let's see. Let's see who else is there. Mirna. Hello, Mirna. How are you? Hello. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. How are you tonight? Thank you. And you? I'm great. I'm happy to see you here. Welcome to the class. Thank you. All right, I can see Antonio too. Hello, Antonio, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Hi, Excellent, Hi, very good. All right, all right. So everyone, welcome to the class. I'm happy to see you here. Thank you so much for being on time. Thank you for the one who has the camera on. Very good. And the rest. I hope you can turn on the camera. So I want to see you everyone. Um, I'm happy for the one who felt sick. I'm glad you feel better. That's great too. So it's Thursday, everyone. We are about to finish the first week. Okay, so imagine almost finishing. That's great. So um, I just want to remember, well, reminds you the attendance is really important okay so some of you already missed uh, some classes so remember that the attendance must be minimum the 80 percent okay so we have many classes so please try not to miss any of them all right at the contrary you might have some issues and I don't want you to have problems with that. Now, I want to remind you too about the platform, okay? Have you worked on the platform, everyone? Yes or no? Uh-huh. No, teacher, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Fatima is very honest. Thank you, Fatima. Mm -hmm. And the rest of you, everyone, did you work on the platform? Yes, I did. Mm. Don't have time, teacher. All right, you didn't have time. And the rest of you? I work in that, but I have trouble with some exercises when I when I been. When uh, I when I go come back to home, I check that again. Okay, all right. Well, I know everyone that you're very busy. Uh, believe me, I totally understand. I know that there are some exercises that might be a little bit confusing too, but remember, we need to work on the platform. Okay, I'm going to show you how the platform is going in this moment. So look at here, we are, not, we are in the week number one, right? Week one, and look, that sits the platform. Some of you already started and that's great, all right? Look, 
Some of you already finished. For example, Mr. Hernandez, look, he already finished the uh, week number one. Super good. Ivan is in the middle. All right. What else? Yeah, Magdaleno has 80% as Nelson too. So super, super good. And then I have Mirna and Rosalina with 48. I mean, that's that's good too. So um, remember everyone, every Friday I'm going to upload your grades. Okay, so if you don't have grades, I will send zero. And I don't want that. Okay, so please uh, try to work on the platform little by little. Okay, imagine five minutes one day, five minutes another day. So with that five minutes, you will finish the platform, okay? If you have some issues, if there is an exercise that maybe you don't understand very well, you can always send a screenshot, okay? Take a screenshot of the exercise. You can send it to me or send it in the group and everybody will help each other. I will try to answer as soon as possible, but you can send it in the group. And if someone else already did the exercise, that person can help you, okay? We are a team, we need to help each other. Now, uh, that was the reminders that I had for you, attendance and platform, okay? Now, I'm going to start sharing the presentation of today class. Can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes. 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 Excellent. Okay, so today is March 23rd. We are in the class number four. So what was the topic that we studied yesterday? Do you remember? What was the topic that we studied yesterday? Would rather. Would rather. Very good. Would rather. Very nice job. We practiced uh, some questions, but before reviewing this, can you tell me what is the structure of would rather? I remember that there's a subject. All right. Plus would rather. Uh huh. And, and plus a uh, verb and base form. Very good. So I have a question, everyone. Do I need a preposition to no. before the verb? No, no. we don't. Done. All right. Excellent. Very good. Can I use contractions? Yes, yes we can. Ah, so for yes. example, if I say, um, I would rather drink Pepsi, for example. Can I, what will be the contraction? It could be either. Excellent, very good. Instead of saying I would, I will say I'd. I'd rather drink Pepsi. Excellent job, very good, very good. Okay, and when do we use would rather? When? What is the scenario? Do you remember? When you choose between two things. Ah, two excellent. Options. Very good. So we are talking about preferences. We have to choose between two options. And you have to tell me which one is the ones that you prefer. Excellent job. So any question, everyone, about would rather? Or is it totally clear? OK, totally clear. Well, we are going to review a little bit fast the questions that we practiced yesterday. Those questions you discussed it with your classmates. But now I'm going to interview some of you. OK, uh, let me pick someone, T -t 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 -t, the one that is not smiling. OK, I'm going to pick the person that is not smiling. 
Uh, okay, Christian is not smiling. <laughs> Hello, Christian. How Hello. are you? Fine, teacher. So, Good Christian, evening. welcome to the class. I have a question Thanks. for you. Yes. Okay. Would you rather be poor and happy or rich but unhappy? I would rather poor and happy. Okay, why? Because the, I think that it's most important to be happy with our family, with the small things that you have money, I think. <laughs> ah, all right. So be happy is more important than yes. having money. Mm, okay, sounds good, sounds good. Christian, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Okay, I'm going to check the list. Uh, Lucy, Natalie. All right, uh, Lucy, can you participate? Hello, Hello yes. Excellent. Okay, Lucy, tell me, um, would you rather have more time or more money? I would rather have more time. Why? Because um, I want to spend more time with my family and especially with my daughter. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Lucy. Can you pick one of your classmates, please? Erika. Thank you. Hello, Erika. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry to interrupt you eating <laughs> or do you finish? Yes, I finished. Okay, so I have a question. Will you rather work more hours per day but fewer days or work few hours per day but more days? I would rather work more hours in a few days. Why? More time if I in the in the so first question I'm gonna choose money so <laughs> if I have money I need time to spend it so <laughs> mm, that's a good idea all yeah. right <laughs> very good very good okay Erica pick someone please okay I never I, let me see I never heard Antonio eh, Roda all right hello Antonio. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Okay, Antonio, would you rather make a phone call or send a text? I would rather send a text. Mm, why? Uh, I I don't know uh, a good person to, to do call phone. Okay. And if it is about work, do you prefer? Okay. Work is, is, is another way because I'm working, but mm. if, mm -hmm, but I, I would rather prefer to send a text than a call phone. A phone, phone call. call. All mm -hmm. right, very nice. Okay, thank you, Antonio. Pick someone, please. Uh, let me see, Fatima. All right, Fatima, can you participate? All right, so would you rather work in groups or alone? I would rather in group. Work in groups? Working group. Okay, why? Because help us. You, you can help each other? Yes, ah. help each other. All right, very good. Thank you, Fatima. Okay, if you see everyone, super good job. Um, I know that I cannot ask you one by one because of the time, but if you see, you are using the structure. I would rather work. I would rather have. I would rather do. We don't need the preposition to before the verb. 
okay? And you are giving reasons. That's great too. Very good job. So, any questions about this structure, everyone? Or totally understood? Yes? Totally clear? Clear as horchata <laughs> or clear as water? Uh huh. No questions? Are you sure? No teacher, no question. Okay, nice. Very good. Okay, before continue, I'm just going to check attendance. Remember, if you listen to your names, say present. Um, Carlos Abrego? Carlos Abrego? Okay. Uh, Christian Alexander. Present teacher. All right. Erika Jasmine. Hi, present. All right. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriel Beltran. All right. Very good. Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Very good. Isabel Hernandez. Present, Miss. Very good. Ivan Guzman. Ivan Guzman. Okay. Jamie Raquel. Present. Very good. Holman Giron. Present. Excellent. Uh, Lucy Juarez. Present teacher. Very good. Magdaleno Escalante. Present teacher. Very good. Nelson Antonio. Present. Very good. Oscar Armando. Present. Very good. Pamela Molina. Present teacher. Very good. Pamela. I haven't seen you in the class. Welcome. How are you? Fine, teacher. Excellent, excellent. Welcome to the class. Um, Rosalina Alvarado. Rosalina. Okay. Um, Selvi Nadonai. Okay. And Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Okay, everyone, let's continue. I'm going to share the presentation again. And we're going to start with today's topic. Can you see the presentation? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so this yeah. is the topic for today. How to use quantifiers. Can you tell me examples of quantifiers? Any idea? How many? Very good. Yes, we got many. What else? Much, much, much. yes, a lot. a lot. A few. A few. Yes, those are examples of quantifiers. So we are going to learn some rules about how to use them. So this topic will be pretty, pretty easy, all right? So the objective for today, I need a volunteer for reading, please. Hmm. Who wants to read? How, to, a... use, how to use quantifiers plus objective to identify reasons for the, for the decline of a product, suggest strategies for a business to deal with the decline of a product and use correctly expression of quantity. Thank you, Lucy. So we are going to check how to use correctly expressions of quantity. But before that, we are going to study some of the common reasons why a product declined. So imagine that in your company, you have a product and the product decline or the product is declining. What can we do? I want you to think about some strategies to help the business. Okay, so can you think some of the reasons or some causes that generate the decline of a product? 
What do you think? Can you give me reasons why a product declines? Uh huh. Any idea? Maybe maybe for competition. Well, reason could be. Mm -hmm. Okay, for competitions, very good. Magdaleno? The quality. The quality. The price. The prices, good. The high prices in raw material. Ah, very good. Anything else? Another because reason? Because the sales are lower, teacher. Mm -hmm. Very good. I sell for the quality. Okay. So imagine there are many reasons why a product can decline. So we need to think about some strategies that we can offer so we can help the product. So imagine that you are the owners of a company, okay? Let's think about a Diana companies. Do you know that company here in our country? Yes? Churitas, yes. Diana, yes. do you like them? Yes, yes. Oh. all of them. I like it. So have you seen that nowadays after the quarantine, those oh. snacks are very expensive? Yes or no? Have you seen that? Yes. So imagine that you are the owners, okay? And now you see that those snacks are declining. Can you give me some strategies? What can you do in order to avoid that? What do you think? Hmm, what can we do? Can you give me ideas? What comes maybe, to your mind? Maybe give a promotion about growth. All right, nice idea. Give promotions. Okay, what else? Uh, the offer. Uh, An offer? Okay, sounds good, sounds good. What else? Any other idea that comes to your mind? Maybe to sell it with a new product. Okay, very good. So imagine we are thinking about strategies. So we are going to check this conversation, okay? So for this conversation, I'll need volunteers for reading. So who wants to read? Let me open it. Okay, I got Jamie, thank you. Who else? Another volunteer for reading? Thank you, Magdaleno. Okay, Jamie, you will be Sonia. Magdaleno, you will be Oscar. Okay, go ahead. Uh, did you did you hear, uh, um, hear? Sorry, did you hear the sales, sales or sales? Sales. Okay, sorry. Did you hear the sales of the green tortillas have declined? I did. I can believe it. We worked many hours to introduce to the market. Yes, I remember. You put a lot of effort in the design of the marketing strategy. I saw green tortillas to sell with a little look. I guess I was wrong. Thank you. Very good. Okay, do you remember this product? We studied this product some classes ago. Do you remember it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I can read. yes I do. Okay. What is the stage? Thinking about uh, the product life cycle. In which stage is green tortricas right now? Is in the market introduction, growth, maturity, declining. or decline? Ah, they very are good. declining. Excellent, in the decline step. So what strategies can we offer to green tortricas 
to avoid a decline. What do you think? Hmm. What can we do to avoid a decline? Maybe reduce the costs. Or maybe we can sell in another market. We need to think about the strategies. And when we are thinking about the strategies, we have some vocabulary. So if you have a new word, please write it down. Here are some vocabulary about marketing strategies to avoid a decline step. Look at the first one. Buy one, get one free. Have you seen this promotion in some products? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Ah, very good. Is that a good idea? What do you think? Does it work? Yes. Yes? Yes. Good, very good. Then there is another promotion. Look, two for one. Have you ever heard that? But you know, the Neveria doesn't have that promotion anymore, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's just, it's just in paper. <laughs> That's true. But when you go, they say, no, we don't offer that anymore. <laughs> so, but. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> but two for one, right? That is another vocabulary. Then another strategy is contests can you give me example some contest that exist or that some companies do to attract customers what does contest mean ah okay anyone do you know what is the meaning for contest Mm. Ah, concurso. Exactly. Those ones. Son como concursos. For example, Coca-Cola has many contests every year. Okay. When you open a Coca-Cola, you can find a code and you can participate to a raffle to win money. That is one contest. Or for example, in some snacks, when you open the snack, you can find a piece of paper with a code and you can win too, All right? Those are some contests. That's another strategy that you can use, All right? So write it down, vocabulary, write it down. Then what is another strategy? Limited time offer. What does it mean? What is that? What do you think? When you have Black Friday? expiry date. <laughs> uh -huh, very good. So for example, some a company said, okay, now the product will be cheaper, but it will be cheaper only for one month. And then it will be expensive again, right? So it's a limited time offer. It is not forever. Now we have the next one, loyalty key schemes. Loyalty schemes. Have you ever heard this? Loyalty, yes, but schemes is like a rewards or not? Schemes is like programs. Programs, programs uh -huh, like loyalty programs, they are like synonyms, right? Okay, thank you. So what is that? Loyalty programs or loyalty schemes? What do you think? What is that? I guess that is, uh, for example, prize for loyalty clients, I suppose. Very good. Uh huh. I, I, I remember coffee cup. I don't know if you, you know. Uh, of course. 
Eh, dan, ¿cómo se dice? Gift, gift. Gives. Give, give a, 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 gift, a gift card and put one, one say, I don't know who say, say who, say you. They give points. For each coffee. Huh? Ah, ajá. Uh -huh. For each coffee. And when you have a, a, a maybe tense, de esas cosas. Okay. You, you can get uh, one free. Ah. I think loyal. Loyal. Very good, exactly. That's a very good example about it. So that is an example of loyalty schemes. Or for example, when you visit a hotel, if you are a very frequent customer, after some reservations, they will give you like one night per free, right? So those are loyalty Camps. Do you think that this type of program is a good strategy? What do you think? Yes, for me, yes. Yeah, right. Very good. Very good. Then another strategy is regular free information. What do you think? What is that? Any idea? No? All right, in this case, regular free information is, for example, when some companies take uh, your email, for example, and they send you information very frequently about the promotions. So you can know about the promotions in advance. So you can take advantage and you can get the promotions before everyone else. Those are like the regular free information. And the last one is seasonal discounts. What do you think? What is that? Seasonal discounts. Uh, Friday night. Ah, all right. Yeah, Black Friday. Black Friday. <laughs> Black Fridays, that's a good, that's a good one. What else? Or the, the, the some sport. The okay, I'm sorry. I was listening to people at the same time. First, Pamela. Tell me, Pamela. Sorry. Um, uh, some stores have the mid-year sale every oh. year. Ah, that's correct. Very good, very good. Magdaleno, what were you saying? Sorry. Um, yes, maybe it could be Mr. Donald with a uh, help with uh, it's promotion. Uh -huh. oh. Okay, promotion with one uh, for the Independence Month. That's Two true. That's true. So that is a seasonal discounts. If you know, this is just for a season. If you see, for example, in December, in December is very common to find the seasonal discounts, right? Or as your classmate said, sometimes uh, in September we have donuts, <laughs> two for one, <laughs> or as your classmate mentioned too, there are some stores that they have a specific season where they give discount. So everyone, these are some strategies to avoid declined, okay? Is it clear the vocabulary? Everybody? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now that we have some strategies, these are not the only ones. We have more. Okay. Now, this is what we are going to do. Um, we are going to work in groups. I want you to choose a product or it can be a service. Okay. The ones that you prefer. Product or service, but think about it, they have to be saturating, okay? Think about a product that is already saturated or think about a service that is saturated. That is, there are a lot of competitors, all right? And you have to answer the three questions. 
For example, what effects does a market saturation have in the price or the quality of the product? So you have to tell me, okay, the price, what happens? The price increased or decreased? What about the quality? The quality increased or decreased? Are they improving the quality? Yes or not? Then you had to tell me strategies. What are the strategies that uh, the company is applying to deal with the situation? What are they doing? And the last one, you had to think about your own strategies. What strategies do you recommend? Okay, so those are the three questions that you have to answer and you have to present it in the class. I will give you the example. I'm going to think about Netflix. Netflix is already saturated because we have different platforms that offers the same service. So what effect does market saturation have in the price? Well, if you see Netflix, well, it's a little bit different in different countries, but in some countries they have to decrease the cost because they, um, there are a lot of platforms that are cheaper. So they have to lower the cost. What happens in the quality? Hmm. In my own opinion, Netflix does, is not so high quality, but they try. They try to always upgrade new movies, new series, but Mm, quality is not so good, right? What are the strategies um, that the competitors company are applying? Hmm. In my opinion, for example, there are some uh, platforms as HBO. What they are doing is that they are uploading every single series. The best series, goes to HBO. Another platforms, they offer the opportunity to have a lot of users for which only one account. Those are some of the strategies that they are using. But hmm, what can we recommend to Netflix? What strategies can we use? Well, maybe, a discount for the loyalty customers, right? We can offer to a seasonal promotions. Like for example, if you are a very loyal customer, I'm going to give you one month totally free. So you just have to pay 11 months a year, for example, or we can use, look, some loyalty schemes. That means that you will have access to some specific movies that not everybody can see. Those are my recommendations, okay? Those are some strategies that I can recommend. So that is exactly what I want you to do. Think about a product or service and answer these three questions. Is it clear the activity? Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah, Alguien que me explique qué vamos a hacer, please. We have to choose one service or uh -huh. product in around us. Around us. And answer the question, is it? <laughs> Excellent, that's it. So this is going to be in groups, everyone. And exactly the same that we did in the previous class, we are going to present the information. It's not necessary to create a PowerPoint presentation. 
No, just to be clear the information. Remember that I can ask randomly to members of the team. So everybody has to participate. So everybody has to try to help. We're going to be in the breaking rooms, everyone. Let me just open the groups one moment. Remember during this practice, I don't want you to speak in Spanish, fully English, please. Okay, just let me create it again, one second. Okay, one second, one second. I'm creating the teams. Okay, everybody, I already sent on WhatsApp's group the instructions for this activity. So let's go to work. Hey, hello, ladies. Hello, how are you? <laughs> are you driving? <laughs> no, actually, no, I am parking at the side of the way of the road. <laughs> okay, I am trying to share the questions. Yes. Okay, we are thinking in, in a product or service. We are choose product yes. or service. Uh -huh. One second, one second. We have to choose product or service. What do you think? I hear you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Any idea? Because I don't have any idea. <laughs> The donuts? <laughs> donuts? <laughs> Sorry? The donuts? No. What do you think about the liver service? Uh, the donuts is a saturation in the market. Donuts, okay. Yes. I have a lot of time, uh, a lot of time. What I what I don't eat donuts actually. In September. In September, September and price uh, more in, in the in the the uh, pronto gasolinera mm -hmm. gas, gas station yeah. In gas station you can find in, in price mark you can find a low cost the donut. Okay. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. They. The product uh, donuts. Donuts. Okay. Yep. <laughs> donuts with coffee, please, for everyone. First question is: What effects does market saturation have in the price and quality of the product? Okay. The price, the price. How do you say marca blancas? <laughs> I don't know. Eh, marcas blancas brown. White brown. I don't know. I blank. I I don't know. But in the supermarket, you can find the bakery that that have in the in into the supermarket. They have a lot of bake or. Uh, uh, Bread, uh, uh, they they make a donut as well, yes, or not? I'm not sure, but but maybe saturation and the price. Uh, the the competition is the price, or because they have a, a low price than Mister Donut, for example. That Mister Donut is 
is expensive to me, I think so, because it's one dollar, the, the donut, when you don't have a um, promotion or in September, but if you if you buy a donut in, in a regular in a regular time, you can pay one dollar or one in a one thirty dollar, yes. Yes, I I'm between maybe cell phones and the um, and the delivery company. Well, well delivery service. Delivery what service. do you think? What do you think, Jamie? I think I uh, I could rather. <laughs> Which one? The... Delivery or cell phone? Cell, cell phone. phone. Okay, we go with cell phones. And Ivan and Oscar, I don't know if if he Ivan, has. If he have Ivan says that uh, his microphone doesn't work. Ah, I'm sorry. If you if you can mm -hmm. write in the chat because you can't speak. So, oh, so we, <laughs> okay, cell phone, it's right. <laughs> okay, we go with cell phones. Okay, the other question. What effect does market? Mm -hmm. Situation having the price and quality of the product. I think that I don't know. The price is very high. Mm -hmm. Where mm -hmm. in some in some um, in some types of cell phones. And the the ones that are, that are cheaper are bad quality. <laughs> I think like the production is or, or the demand is too much that the prices are super high and the quality is super bad. <laughs> I, I think that I don't know what you think. I yeah, to me it's, it's pretty, it's a good it's a good present. <laughs> it's a good essence. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's true. I don't remember big I didn't remember biggest. <laughs> yeah, but it's true. But in, in the case of Wendy's, the 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 new market of them is the vegetarian people they they have the, the new hamburgers beyond meat it's not a meat or it's not pork it's like a soja meat the taste is horrible for me it's horrible i prefer the real meat but it's a new market and the quality is better than the other in my opinion that's my opinion that's what i think I don't know what hamburger do you prefer, Hormal or Lucy? Well, I prefer the the hamburger with with bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a I'm a pork lover. <laughs> <laughs> and I think they are working, you know, right? They have um... La Mel. Yes, the Texas, the the um. Yeah, the the whooper. The whooper. The Texas. Yeah. So if I'm you vegan. take the if you take if you take the strategies from biggest to give up glass, it's gonna be good. In the case of Wendy's, they don't have a cajita feliz. But the quality for me, the quality and the price are are good. McDonald's, I don't know what do you think? I think my McDonald's is for it's for a a kids. Um, it, just for the cajita feliz, right? Just for the cajita feliz. 
Yeah, they have a focus in the kids because they they give very good toys. I remember when I remember when they offered the the little barrio cards. And yes. my daughter was crazy with that toys <laughs> with the princess and Mario and Luigi and and I remember the quality of the toy was very good. Yes, that's that's right. And the Burger King for me the best thing that Burger King has is the the free fryers. Free fryers. Free Fry. <laughs> I like the I I like the ice cream the too, one. the burger the burger the twister one. Okay. <laughs> I'm John Coleman. He's from McDonald's. Ya que están hablando de eso. Ah yes, it's very oh Joshi. <laughs> you see so that's that that is a. Uh, Esa es una muestra. <laughs> Did you buy it with the cajita feliz? Yes. <laughs> a lot of people make that. A lot of people make that. They they don't have kids yes. and, and only buy the, the kids meal for the toys for for collection. Ah yes, a lot of people collection that mm. that that little toys. Happy box, happy mm. meals. Oh. And and McDonald's, McDonald's, you can buy just the toys, right? Without the happy box. <laughs> okay, everyone, did you answer all the questions already? Yes, we continue talking about hamburgers. <laughs> when we finish answering. All right, very good. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> are you hungry? Ah, that's why yeah. you were talking about hamburgers. Too much, too much to talk about hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, keep going. I'm going to check another team, okay? Okay. <laughs> For uh, two years. Maybe. Uh, mm -hmm. Until two years after this, until two years, you, you yes, need to trash <laughs> change the form. <laughs> yes, okay. The second one the, is the second one. What the strategies are the competitors' companies applying to deal with saturation? I think mm -hmm. that there are some prom promotion. In the uh -huh. companies, for example, Movistar or Claro, they sell a plan, not just the cell phone. Okay, that is the 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 deal. Offer promotion for when offer, you buy the yeah, cell phone. Offer plans, for example, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or offer pavo. <laughs> I don't know how. Ah, in the, know. In the, in the hey. Christmas. <laughs> yes, in Christmas. But yeah, how how you I buy a cell power? phone? <laughs> you have a turkey. Yeah. Turkey, mm -hmm. yes. Or turkey, yeah. <laughs> huh? Yeah. <laughs> or three gigabytes. Oh, yes, yes. Ah, three gigabytes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Right. The right. The strategies. Entonces. Yes. I'm writing. But on all, is is a uh, we invent a new one or write the the real strategies for the companies? What do you understand when that teacher say? What other strategy? If we have an idea for another strategies to apply in the market, I think. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, in the last question, everyone, is your own ideas. Invent okay. your own strategies. What do you recommend? In the okay. last, okay. Yes. okay. And I send in the chat, pagos yes. is payments. Okay? Payments? Yes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank Thanks you. you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to check another team. You have only five more minutes, so hurry up, okay? Okay. Very good. Uh -huh. how, how do you say this table? Mm -mm. This, this 
It's like a plan, plainer obsolescence. The obsolescence. Is when the, the the company who produced the pro the cell phone uh, produced the the cell phone uh, in programs the product to during uh, in yes. another in another time in in, in a time specific. Yes, but yes, you, you buy a, a Huawei cell phone and can use it in two years. I don't know, I can't believe that. Yes, maybe it's like an strategy too <laughs> uh -huh. for you to buy another a new cell phone. <laughs> okay, everyone, so, sorry to interrupt you. Did you finish no, or not yet? Yeah. No, yet almost, 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 almost. Okay, you have three more minutes, and then we're going to go back to the main room, okay? Okay. Very good. Okay, let's go to the, the next question. The sugar free. <laughs> sugar free. Sugar free. <laughs> no, those, those people don't have to eat the uh, bread. Actually, don't. It's this. not for them. Yeah, but, My but... dad eat, eat donuts in September and he's diabetic. Yeah, diabetic. like my mom. Yeah, like my mom. Okay, everyone. <laughs> sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Did you finish? Yes. Yes? Yes. Excellent. We are chambreando. How do you say? <laughs> How do you say chambreando? <laughs> chambreando. Okay. Uh, chambrear is gossip. Gossip, I guess. Gossip. Gossip. I mean, gossips. 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 Gossip. This is Gracias. like this is like a chambres, right? Or or chambrear. I'm, I'm sending it in the chat. Gossip. Gossip. Uh -huh. uh huh. So that is what you yeah, are doing. Gossip. <laughs> like the gossip girl. <laughs> yes, exactly. Like gossip. that one. So you are gossiping right now. That's what you are doing. My goodness. But in English, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. That's the idea. Very good job. Very good job. I'm going to check just one more team and then we're going to go back to the main room. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, that is a, a good. Hey, maybe it's a good promotion to buy a new phone. Finish? Give me free the headphones because yes, you, get. you need to pay more for that. After yes. no, after inside the box, phone and get headphones. Right now, no. Okay, my, everyone. My... Sorry to interrupt hey. you, but no, miss. <laughs> uh, I know, I know that the, the the conversation is interesting, but we don't have more yeah. time. We need to go back to the main room, okay? Okay, okay. Very good. Let's go back. Okay, time's up. Let's wait for everyone. Okay, okay. There are some classmates that they are still in the breaking rooms. We are going to wait for them. Time's up, time's up, everyone. Okay, interesting conversations. Very good. Okay, what do you think? How was the practice? Easy or difficult? It's uh -huh. difficult to think in English, but in <laughs> translation, the ideas, it is ah, tough. Okay, for, all right. For, for me, the, the connection works is, is, is hard, but I'm trying. That's the idea, and that's what I want. I want you to try. Excellent job. And the rest of you? What do you think? How was the practice? Easy or difficult? 
We were talking a lot. I <laughs> uh, no, I uh, no. Interesting. Uh -huh. And the rest of you? What do you think? Was it easy? At, at the beginning, at the beginning was difficult because we have to think an idea, but then it's more easy. All right. So when you have to think about the product or choose the service, I think that that is one of the most difficult things because you have to think which one and so on. Okay. Nice. Listen, everyone, something that I really liked is when I enter to a group, I really like to uh, find you speaking in English. So that's great because I don't want you to talk in Spanish. Um, observations. Uh, sometimes I listen to uh, some people saying a word in Spanish. So I don't want you to be like, eh, si, sí, lo, lo, I don't know, imagine a word, eh, la carne is delicious and so feliz. on. Oh, or for example, that one, right? So sometimes we just, oh, they say the word in Spanish and we don't do anything about it, okay? I don't want that. If you listen to our classmates saying a word in Spanish and you know how to say it in English, tell them, okay? If nobody in the groups knows the word, you need to go to the dictionary, okay? Because if we don't search for the word, we are not going to learn the word. Y vamos a seguir diciendo la carne, carne, because I don't know how to say carne in English. However, if we go to the dictionary, we find the word and we learned the word, okay? So please, next time, if you listen to a classmate saying a word in Spanish and you don't know the word in, uh, in English, go to the dictionary, okay? Because that's the idea, to learn more vocabulary. Now, we are going to present the information. I have the team number one. <laughs> no, let's regaño, everyone. It's, it's like with love. Es con amor. <laughs> All right? No worries. Now, let's see. <laughs> I like that. Okay, team number one, it was a it was Ivan, Jamie, Oscar, and Pamela. Okay, team. Uh, let's see. Let me ask to, 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 to Pamela. Pamela, what was the product or service? Uh, in the group, we choose um, cell phones. Cell phones, okay, okay. Did you pick a specific cell phone or in general? No, we were talking about in general. Okay, all right. So I will be asking one question each one. Let me ask, um, Jamie, the first question, what effects does a market saturation have in the price and quality of the product? A microphone, I cannot hear you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, the, that to, the, the effect could be that you can choose uh, different brands uh, or cell phones because there are, we have a, a stock that there are several brands and qualities and you can ubicate in different levels of quality. For example, a low quality, intermediate quality. Uh, that depends that the uh, filter of the cell phone, like camera, camera like um, uh, in another, <laughs> in another <laughs> filter on the cell. Um, this is, this is the answer. 
Okay, okay. Thank you, Jamie. Okay, Hector, question number two. What strategies are the competitors' companies applying to deal with the saturation? Um, with the, with the, each, uh, each product sell, we, uh, they sell, offer a different de device, uh, earphone, and uh, the smartwatch, and uh, uh, that's it, teacher. Only that? Only that. It's a strategic uh, offer more product and more maybe cheaper. Ah, um, okay, more products and cheaper. Okay, sounds good. Now, let's see, let's see. Uh, da, 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 Ivan and Oscar, you had to tell me some of the strategies that you recommend. So Ivan can tell me one of the strategies and Oscar can mention another one. Go ahead. Okay. I, I arrive at Thai is late. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, so so uh, I, I got an idea. Uh, in my opinion, uh, other strategies in the market saturation is um, uh, the the company um, the the best force of financing in in the consumers. Okay. Okay. For example. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Oscar. Mm. <laughs> Only that. We, uh, for cell, for cell phone is uh, grip um uh, all the products. Uh, they give one product or or give uh, the pack the the menu. Or gigabyte or app and TikTok, uh, Facebook, and YouTube, and every uh, app uh, for them uh, for enter the cell phone for one month, two months, or three months free. Ah, oh, uh, all right. Yeah. Yeah, that's Only a good idea. Okay, Pamela, do you have any other strategy? We, yes, we were talking about like um, to the the companies join with another ones and like the cell phones with uh, Spotify or Netflix or on other services that you use in your cell phone, like included. Oh, all right, it sounds interesting. Okay, very good job, team number one. Very good, very good, I liked it. Okay, let's move on to the team number two. In the team number two, I have Erika, Holman, and Lucy. Let's start with Erika. Okay, Erika, question, oh, what was the product or the service? Uh, hamburgers. Uh, hamburgers in general or a specific company? We talk about Wendy's, McDonald's, Burger King, and Biggest. Aha, uh -huh, okay. <laughs> so answer the question number one. Go ahead. Let me see. I don't remember that question. <laughs> what effects is... does market saturation have in the price and in the quality of the product? Uh, in our case, we were talking about Wendy's. Wendy has a good quality and they keep the price at the same level. In the biggest case, if you remember, I think it just was have one, uh, one restaurant in our country or two, I don't know, I don't remember. And the, they are using to give, German, German said it, to give a glass with, with a combo. Okay. Class with a combo and the quality is the same that I remember when I was a child. 
All right. And the brace is, and the brace is a little bit tall, uh, uh, higher than the than the pass, higher than the pass. Mm, we were talking about McDonald's too, and it's the same price. The taste never change. And Lucy tells us that she just buy, she she just go to the dance restaurant because she has a little kid. And the baby girl prefer to buy uh, the happy box. <laughs> <laughs> All the right. Uh, because and, of the toy. Yes, and Jolman said the same. She preferred the toy. <laughs> only, for, only because of the toy, <laughs> yeah. my goodness. <laughs> yes. Okay, all and right. You can, uh, you can add uh, uh, another present or something like that, or keep the same price tag, but to get a better quality. Okay, sounds mm -hmm. good. Thank you, Erica. Okay, now, uh, Holman, answer the question number two. What strategies are the competitors applying to deal with the situation? What are they doing? Now, uh, for me, the, the marketing is very important and create new, new comp and hamburgers. Okay. Uh, maybe the the price and and the 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 offers. Okay. So, for example, yeah. imagine Wendy's. What the strategies are Wendy's using to win? For example, to be better than McDonald's, than Biggest, than Burger King. What does Wendy's do that makes the difference? What do you think? For me, the quality of the hamburgers, the, the quality and the, dif la, the different hamburgers they, they have in the 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 price it, it's it's okay and uh, the, the the quality is very good and they have a lot of different options, options. Mm, they have different options all right sounds good and the last one lucy answer the last question what do you recommend whether it is whether it is strategies I will recommend, for example, in the Wendy's case, and they can still use that in philosophy of, of a fresh food because they offer the um, the fresh and more healthy food about their ingredients. And other strategy I can recommend is like uh, give uh, some points in, in every in every cell that make. It's because um, reinforce that clients, their clients, and make a program to accumulate that points. Yeah, and right. it still offers and it still offers the fresh fresh <laughs> ingredients. Mm -hmm. yes. mm, I like that. Very good. Interesting answers, everyone. Thank you, team. Very good job. Very good job. Okay, let's move on to the next one. In the next team, I have Fatima, I have Mirna, and I have Magdalena. Okay, Fatima, you answer the question number one. Go ahead. What was the product or the service? We think... Um... The products about donuts. Ah, okay. I think three, three brands is the Price Mart Donuts, the Pronto Gas Station Donuts, and the Mr. Donut. Okay. So what is the answer in the number one? What effects that uh, the market saturation have in the price and in the quality of the product? We talk about the, the price marks on it 
is always the same price, around six or seven dollars. Okay. But uh, the independence season, the Pronto Donuts and Mr. Donuts um, put the, the promotion two for one done. Mm. But Mr. Donuts uh, low the qu quality and the Pronto no. They don't low the quality. No, because we think Mr. Donald is or oh, ha, has more demand, more demand. Ah, interesting. Very good point. Very good point. Okay. Then, Mirna, tell me what strategies are the competitors applying to deal with the situation? The strategy that the the strategy that the competi competitor uh, companies applying is um, two for one. Okay. For example, Mr. Donut in the in September in the season September and Independence Day, but all uh, all month, yes, mm -hmm. is they they can sell uh, all donuts at two for one, and but the competitor. Uh, like a gas station uno i remember that is gas station uno they sell the same the same promotion to two for one in in september as well ah uh, i didn't have idea about it mm, interesting okay yeah it's, it's right. a, yeah it's a duration only in in september because you have the the promotion to two for one but we are talking uh in a group, we are talking with uh, about the the quality because Mr. Donut in September they they love the quality. The price is two for one, but they love the quality in the donut. Very good. Uh, and they don't have many many options because they have a lot of a, a lot, lot of, of demand. sales. Yeah, demand. Definitely. Yes. Excellent. All right. And the last one, Magdaleno, tell me the strategies that you recommend. Um, maybe uh, give a promotion like, uh, like they are doing two for one and for season because, no, no. Uh, uh, I, I forgot the, the verb. Uh, keep, keep the same promotion, uh, but uh, um, um, keep the same promotion instead. Low the quality. Keep the same quality in the promotions, but they um, they do lower. Air quality, their quality, um, people don't buy it in other seasons when they are not then in promotions. Is one of my recommendations. Sounds good. And that's true. If you see, I think that everybody buys uh, donuts only in September, right? The rest of the month, the rest of the year, they don't and the rest of the worried. years <laughs> and and you know the rest of the years the donuts might be better right but we don't know because we only buy it in september okay very good job a uh, good analysis team nice and the last team i have antonio christian isabel rosalina Okay, let's see. Let's start with Antonio. What was the product or the service that you chose? Okay, the product is cell phone too, teacher. In general or a specific company? No, there is in, in general. Okay, all right. So let's the, see. Tell me the answer for the first question. 
Oh, okay, the first question is if you if you get get a low a low quality, uh, you your cell phone is is a about quality because the price is low too. But if you if you buy a expensive cell phone, we depend on the brand. Okay. If you buy a good brand, if you buy a good brand, you get a a good brand memory or memory. I don't know how do you say. Okay. All right. So you get like a better storage. Storage is like the memory storage. Okay, nice, sounds good, sounds good. Christian, answer the question number two, please. Okay. Uh, I think that what, is, what strategies are the competitors companies applying to deal with saturation? I think that they are uh, applying some strategies like sell the plan, not just the cell phone, not just the smartphone, without a plan, okay? They sell you like a combo, but including gigas, megas, uh, and another things, uh, and also the, the, the phone, and what is, that, that is one strategy. I think okay. that they are applying also, uh, like you can buy it in goods or in parts for one or two years, 24 months, I don't know. And you pay a, a low, uh, you you have to pay less, low, less, uh -huh, less mm. by okay. uh, some months, divided in some months. Ah, all right. Yeah. Sounds good. If Sounds you, good. If you if you can buy it uh, in the moment, you can divide the cost in many months. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I like that. All right. Let's see, Mr. Hernandez. Answer the question number three. Give me one recommendation that you have for the company. Isabel, are you there? Okay, I think he's not there. Okay, Rosalina, tell me the answer for the question number three, recommendations. Okay, we uh, think about it. That a good recommendation for the companies, if in the next promotion, it put inside the box uh, headphones, because right now, any company put the headphones when you buy a new phone. And then maybe it's a um, good campaign of marketing campaign, no? Yes, it's a good strategy. Okay. Nice. And if you remember some years ago, every company gave you right the headphones yes. when you when you buy the cell phone so imagine yeah. and they don't do it anymore <laughs> yeah they, you need you need to spend more money for for that because it's, it's part of the life the <laughs> definitely all <laughs> right everybody excellent job i love your analysis good 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 so if you see the idea for this type of activities is applying the vocabulary, but also be able to explain. Because I feel that in this level, what we need to learn is to organize our ideas and be able to express, okay? Analyze. I know that in your mind, your analysis is perfect. I know that if you, if I say, okay, everybody, explain me in Spanish. Oh my gosh, you give me every single detail. So exactly the way that you will do it in Spanish, I will like you to do it, but 
in English. So that is the purpose for this type of activities. Imagine in your job, you have a meeting and your boss says, okay, explain me everything, but in English. So you have to be able to do it, okay? But so far so good, I like that. Um, just a question. Uh, during the practice, when I was listening to the groups, I heard this phrase, I am agree. Is that correct, everyone? Hmm, I am agree. Is that correct? I think, I think, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. What I think that is, I agree. Uh -huh. I don't know if I am mistake. Actually, that's the correct answer. It's not necessary to use the verb to be. We just say, I agree. That's it. Okay, so I am agree, never. Just I agree. If it is in negative, I don't agree. That's it. Okay, so verb to be, never. I agree or I don't agree. Got it? Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay, everyone. Let's stop uh, talking about the products. Now let's talk about quantifiers. This topic is easy. I know that some of the words that we are going to study, you already know that. So it will be like a lot of practice right now. Um, before talking about quantifiers, we need to identify the difference between the countables and the uncountables. What is the meaning of countables? What is that? You can count it. Ah, very good. Can you give me examples of countable nouns? For example, I can say I have two hamburgers, two hot dogs. Ah, very many good. Gra many grapes. Very good. How about uncountables? What is the meaning of that? Hair. Hair. Hair can, is we, uncountable. We can, we can have a idea the how many of how many how many number for each um each uh, uh, each thing. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Exactly, exactly as you said it, guys. Countables, easy. We can count them. One hamburger, two hamburgers. But the opposite is the uncountables. We cannot count them. For example, hair, we cannot count it. Uh, water, for example, I cannot say, ah, oh, yes, I want two waters. <laughs> no, right? We cannot count them. So is it clear the difference between countables and uncountables? Yes? Yes, it is. Yes. All right. If you have questions, please let me know. I can explain again, no problem. It is important to identify the countables and the uncountables because there are some quantifiers that are specific only for countables and there are some quantifiers that are specifically only for uncountables. And we got this information, if you got the manual in the page 15, we had this box. Okay, let's learn what quantifiers we can use with the uncountables. We can say uncountables or non-countables. It's basically the same. So for the uncountable nouns, we can use a little. What is a little? What is that? It seems a few, teacher. It's it few seems a few. Yes. So a little is you. For example, um, I like coffee or with 
a little sugar, some people say. Or uh, I like uh, pupusas, but just a little. I like the soup with a little salt. Okay? A little is a very small amount. So be careful. A little, it's only for uncountables. Okay, so you can say a little sugar, for example, a little water, but can I say a little students? Can I say that? No. Why not? No, you can't. Students is a plural, maybe you can it's, count it's, that. It's a countable. Ah, very good. It's countable. So mm -mm, we cannot use a little with countables. Now, we have the next word that is a lot of. A lot of is basically the opposite of a little. So a lot of, um, for example, a lot of salt, um, a lot of hair. One of the characteristics for a lot of is that most of the time, everybody, we use a lot of in affirmative sentences or in questions. Be careful with that. A lot of is more for affirmative or questions, but not for negative. Okay, so for example, if I say I don't have a lot of water, can I say that? What do you think? I don't have a lot of water. Can I say that? You can say it, but it's not correct. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, uh, what, what is uh, incontable? A lot of. Uh... Use it uh, countable, right? In this no, case, no, no. remember, a lot of, you can use it with the uncountable. Water is uncountable, but that is not the problem. The problem is that a lot of, it's more for affirmative or questions. And the sentence is negative. So which word can I use instead of a lot of? We can use much, okay? Look, instead of saying a lot of, we have to say much because much is a word that we can use in negative sentences or questions. I'm going to give you another example. Imagine if I say, I have -da 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 -da, coffee and I have two options. I have a lot of and I have much. So what do you think? What will be the best word to complete this sentence? I have a lot of coffee or I have much coffee. What do you a think? A lot of maybe. Why? I think, I think this is, um, in my opinion, is for what you said is an affirmative. That's correct. So pay attention here, everyone. A lot of and much is just the same. It's the same translation. It's the same meaning. What is the difference? That a lot of is for affirmative or questions. And much is for negative or questions to. Imagine if I change the sentence. I don't have, what will be the best option? I don't have a lot of coffee or I don't have much coffee. Much. In I that don't case, have much coffee. correct. Very good, very good. So now let's see the next one. We have some. Some, it's most for 
affirmative sentences. If you want to use it in negative, you have to use the word any. Okay, look. Be careful with these words. Some and any, the translation is the same. What is the difference? Some is for affirmative, any is more for questions or negatives. Let's see an example. Imagine if I say, eh, I want da 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 cheese. What would be the best word to complete this sentence? I have, uh, I'm sorry, I want some cheese or I want any cheese. Some cheese. Some cheese. Very good. Why? Because the sentence is affirmative. affirmative. If I change it, mm, I don't want, what do you think? I don't want some cheese or I don't want any cheese. Any cheese. I don't want any cheese. Correct. So if you see, it's very easy. You just need to identify if it is affirmative or if it is negative. Okay, so far so good, everyone. Is it clear? Yes. I have a question, teacher. Yes, <laughs> go ahead. Especially right. in the horror movies, the main actress always says, "Is someone there? Some or anybody there? What is the difference? Someone is for if you think there is someone there, and well, then it is because you prefer nobody." <laughs> <there> or, <laughs> oh. Well, in this case, everyone. If it is a question, the correct sentence is with any. Is anyone there? That will be the correct one. If you use it's someone there, I mean, the meaning, as I said, the meaning is the same, all right? If you say, is someone there? People will understand you. But remember that we are trying to learn the language in the best or the most correctly, okay? So the correct one is any. If you listen that they say, is someone there? I mean, it's the same meaning, but the correct one is any, okay? Mm -hmm. This is the same uh, with songs. <laughs> you know, if you listen to song music in English, you will identify a lot of mistakes. All right, because they don't respect grammar and <laughs> they just talk. Okay, so just be careful with that. Yes, when you <laughs> uh -huh, when you watch movies or listen to music, I mean they can mention some mistakes because it's just entertainment. But yeah, you have to learn that the correct one, if it is a question or negative, is any. Got it, everyone? I don't know if anyone else had a question. No? Yes? Okay, let's move on with the next one. A great deal of. This phrase is only for uncountables. And what is the meaning of a great deal of? Do you have any idea? <laughs> What is that? Like, like un gran numero, exactly. un buen numero. Yes, exactly. So a great deal of is like a lot of, like many of that, a large number. But remember, this is only for uncountable. For example, a great deal of coffee, a great deal of um, sugar, a great deal of uh, rice, okay? But only for uncountables. Then we have plenty of, plenty of is the same, it's like a lot of, all right? So we can say, hey, I have plenty of hair. <laughs> I have a lot of, okay? And we have the negative form, no, okay? So for example, um, I have no sugar. 
I have no water. I didn't, or, or you can say I drank no coffee. So it's just a negative form, okay? Then, well, this is basically about the uncountable nouns. Is it clear, this part, everyone? About the uncountables? Mm. Yes? Teacher, I have a question with your way to, to say that. Which I one? I, I listen that you don't use the auxiliary verb do. Mm -hmm. This is this is something that you have to, uh, I don't know if you already checked this in the previous levels. In English, we cannot have double negative words in a sentence. For example, if you say, I don't have no coffee. I have two negative words. I have don't and I have no. That is don't not possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have to decide. You can say, I don't have... And here you can say eh, any coffee because any doesn't have the word no, or just just say, and this is the phrase that I mentioned, I have no coffee. In this case, I can use no because I don't have the auxiliary. Okay, so the idea is you cannot have like double negative in the same sentence. All right, if you have the auxiliary, you cannot add the word no. If you want to say the word no, okay, remove the auxiliary. Got it? I don't know if it is clear. Totally. Yes? Totally clear. Thank you. Great, excellent. Okay, everybody, the most important thing here is remember these words and in the type of sentences that you can use them, if it is affirmative or negative or in questions. Now, let's move on to the opposite. Let's move on to the countable nouns. What happens with the countable nouns is basically the same. Let's start. With the uncountables, we used a little. What is the opposite of a little? A lot. Mm. Oh, in this case, with countable, a few. a few. So a few is for countables. For example, um, a few students, a, a few apples. Can I say a few, um, let's see, let's see. A few oh, hair, can I say that? A few hair? Yes or no? no? No, 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 never, no. because it's uncountable. uncountable. So that is the difference between a little and a few, okay? Then look at the next word. We have the word a lot of, and I have a lot of incountables and uncountable. What does it mean? A lot of is for both okay so i can say a lot of sugar yes and i can say a lot of apples yes a lot of is for both easy all right now we have some easy because some is for both i can say some water, and I can say some people, you see? So the word some is very easy because it's for both. Clear? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Okay, then we have many. So many is just for the countables. For example, I have many pencils. Can I say that? I have many pencils. Yes or no? 
I'm sorry, can you repeat? Negative or question. Ah, good job. What happens with many, everyone? I can use it in negative or questions. So I have many pencils. Is that correct? No. No. If I have negative, I don't have many pencils. In that case, is correct. It's the same example as much. Now we have the next one. The next one is plenty. If you see plenty is for both. You can use it for countables and also for uncountables. And then we have no, is the same, okay? And the last one is any. If you see any is for both, any water or any apples. What is the characteristics that any is for negative or questions? But you can use it with both, countables and uncountables. So is it clear, everyone, the way that we can use these um, quantifiers? Yes, clear. What about teacher, uh, enough? Enough, enough is for both too. So we can use it with the countables or the uncountables now. This is for both. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Okay. There are more uh, quantifiers, but these are like the most common one. Okay, so this information is on your manual or you can take notes or you can take a screenshot. And now we are going to have a practice. Did you take the screenshot? Yes. Did you take notes? Yes. Yes. Yes, I take. All right, now everybody, let's go to the practice. I have here some sentences and you have to decide what will be the correct answer, okay? So I need to everybody try to participate, okay? Let's start with some and any. Okay, let's review. Some and any is for countables or uncountables or for both? For both. Exactly. This is both. for both. Okay. So countables and uncountables. Okay. What is the difference between some and any? <laughs> okay. Some is for? For negative uh, question. <laughs> okay. Some is for affirmative. Any is for negatives or? Questions. Questions. Okay. Look at the first sentence. There aren't ta -ta -ta help. What will be the correct word? Some or any? Any. Ah, there aren't any help. Good, because it's negative. Negative. Number two, volunteer for reading. Do you know some Americans? Okay, do you agree, everybody? Oh, I agree. Any Americans? Any? No, it's any. Ah, why? Why do you think that is any? Because it's question. Question. Uh, question. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Very good job. Volunteer for the number three. We need we some, coffee. some coffee. coffee. Ah, we need some coffee. This is affirmative. Very good job. Okay, the next one, volunteer. It has some. Some. Ah, very good. So pay attention here, everyone. Remember, we can use some for uncountables, but also for countables. The difference is just affirmative sentences. Nice job. Okay, the next one, number five, volunteer. I didn't have any breakfast today. Good job. If you see didn't, it's negative. We cannot use some. 
Okay, the last one. He hasn't done. Any. Any. Very good. If you see, negative. Very good job. So is it clear, summon any? Yes? Yes. Yes. Are you sure? Okay. Yes, sure. Very good, very good. Let's move on to the next one. Now, we are going to check the difference between many, much, a lot of, a little. So look at this. Do you have da, 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 friends? Friends is countable or uncountable? Countable. Countable. Okay. <clears throat> what is the correct answer here? Look, it's a question, everyone. Do you have many, much, or some? Many. Many. Okay, some of you say many, some of you say some. Can I use some in this sentence? Yes. No, no, I no. think many questions. I think no, no because ah, it's a question. Because it's a question. So, some is only for affirmative. So, mm. can I use much in this sentence? No. no. Much is for negative, no? Most, you said negative. Mm. Mm. But is? Uncountable. Good job. Uncountable. Much or many. The Very good. Them. Very good. So look at this. Much is not possible because it's countable. I, it's countable. Exactly. Very good job. Okay, let's move on to the next one. There are, and then I have people. Much, a little, or a lot of? A lot of. A lot of. A lot of. Very good. Much. No, because is countable. A little no, because is countable. The countable. only correct option is a lot. Of. Very good. Okay, next one. Can I have da 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 sugar, please? A little. A little. Ah, very good. Can I use a few? No. Never. No. Why? Because it's for Good job. Excellent, everyone. Okay, number four. How ta -da 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 -da, money Fred has? How much? much. Money. How much? How much? Hmm. Okay, some of you say many, some of you say much. Think about this. Hmm, many, that is a tricky word. Many is, uh, sorry, money is countable or uncountable? Countable. For me, it's countable because I have a few. <laughs> <laughs> because you have few. Look at this. Um, this is a key. Una clave que les puede ayudar para saber si son countables or uncountables es hacer esta oración. Y esto me ayuda a mí. For example, puedo decir, hey, yo tengo one money. Eh, yo tengo two monies. ¿Puedo decir eso? No. I have two monies. No, no, no right? So, si no puedo hacerlo, significa que es uncountable. So, money. money is uncountable. Ok. What is the difference? Look at the opposite. ¿Qué pasa si en lugar de money yo digo dólar? Puedo decir, I have one dollar. I yes. have two dollars. Yes. Can I say that? Yes. 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 So dollars is countable, but money, mm -mm. okay? So what will be the correct answer in this case? So Many much, money much. or much money? Many. Much. 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 much money. Much. Okay. Much. Because remember, many is for countable. countable. Much is for uncountable. Clear, everyone, why we use much with money? Yes? Yes. I know, yes. Excellent. Okay, now let's practice a little and a few. What is the difference? 
What is the difference between a little and a few? A little is for... A few is uncountable. uncountable. Okay, so we have a little for uncountable. A few uh, is a countable. Very good job. Okay, if I say lemonade, hmm, what is the correct answer for that? A little, a little. or a few? A little. A little. A little. A little. Okay, I will be asking one by one. So only the person I mentioned, only that person can answer. Let's start with okay. Hector. Hector, the number two, a little man or a few men? Mm, a few men. Ah, very good job. Next one, eh, let's see, Ivan, number three. A little milk or a few milk? A little milk. Good job. Very good. Very good. Um, Jamie, number four. A few. A few. Yes. If you see, we have plural. Immediately, mm -hmm. we know that is countable. That's a rule. Uncountables, they don't have plural. Okay, be careful. Okay, let's see. Um, Mirna, number five. Two. I'm sorry? A few. Very good, a few women. Uh, let's see, two, two, two. number seven, Antonio. A little. A little. A little. A little, you learned that, very good. Number seven, Carlos, are you there? Okay, I think he's not there. Christian, number seven. A few. Very good, a few friends. Number eight, uh, Fatima. A few. A few, correct. Excellent job, everyone. If you see, easy to check the difference between a little and a few. Now, eh, well, we don't have more time, but the last one was about much and many. What is the difference? Much for uncountables. And many for countables. Pretty easy. Very good job. But we don't have more time. Listen, before leaving, I'm going to check attendance. Did I check attendance the second time? No, right? No. No. Okay, I'm going to check attendance very fast. If you listen to your names, say present, please. Carlos Abrego? <laughs> No, okay. Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Erika Jasmine. Present. Very good. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Good. Gabriel Beltran. Okay. Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Isabel Hernandez. Present, Miss. Okay. Uh, Ivan Guzman. Present. Very good. Jamie Raquel. Present. Good. Uh, Holman Giron. Present. Good. Uh, Lucy Juarez. Present. Good. Uh, Magdaleno Escalante. Present, teacher. Nice. Nelson Antonio. Present. Very good. Oscar Armando. Present teacher. Very good. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Nice. Rosalina Alvarado. Present miss. Very good. Selvin Adonai. And Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Okay, tomorrow we will continue practicing this topic. Now before leaving, 
The winner for today is Isabel Hernandez. Usted se queda, please. Los demás, you can go and sleep. Have a good night. Don't forget to work on the platform and see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Take care. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Sorry, teacher. Sorry, teacher. Can I ask? Can I send my my homework because I don't know what what have a mistake because I tried to do like a class last last class. Can I send you? Tell me the screenshot. Yes, okay. so I can check okay. it. Mm -hmm. No okay. problem. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You too. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. Hello. How are you? Hello. Okay. Can you hear me? Very good. Okay, very good. Okay, this little meeting yeah. is, is just to know each other, okay? This moment is for you. If you have questions about the class or about the program or about the platform, this is the moment that you can ask and I will explain only to you, okay? So any questions that you may have about the class, um, about the topic? Really? I don't have a, a question. Okay. I don't have a, a doubt. Um, no comments? <laughs> okay. Um, no, no. So it's everything great. Yeah, yeah. Eh, nice. Sí, este, ¿cómo le diría? Eh, tomo mis apuntes en mi cuaderno. You always take notes? Yeah, uh -huh, you always take notes. Sí, always, uh, really, always nice. take my notes. Very good. And, and, uh, uh, and uh, in the next day, I... I review the the my my notes. Ah, very good. Yeah. I like that. Okay, I was checking the platform and look at this. I can see you already finished the first week. Very good job. How did you feel the platform? Nice. Is it easy to use the platform? Um so if the um, some sentences is uh, uh -huh. if really easy, but uh, someone I, I I really difficult. Okay, yeah, definitely. There are some exercises that are easier than others. That's totally true. But you are doing a great job. I like that. So, what do you think is the most difficult in English? Um, speaking, writing or listening, grammar, what do you think that for you, what is the most difficult thing? For me, maybe um, speaking and, and next will be grammar. Okay. Because uh, in reading, uh, I understand in, in listening more or less. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So basically speaking and grammar, that's what you feel yeah. that is more difficult. Okay. So when you talk about, well, speaking, what do you feel is what you feel the difficult thing? Is because of organizing your ideas or because of yeah. the lack of vocabulary? Yeah, organizing my ideas, organizing my ideas and, and also uh, vocabulary poor vocabulary maybe uh -huh. my my vocabulary is is poorest of the word so you don't find the words and you you yeah. don't know how to say some ideas yeah uh -huh. I, I have a, a disorder <laughs> <laughs> all right okay okay look i always send on whatsapp's group the questions that we practice here in the class 
right? So my recommendation is just continue practicing the questions, okay? So try to review it, try to practice, and something that will help you, I'm going to show you. Look at this, give me a second. I'm going to show you a website. Look at this. Can you see the screen that I'm sharing? Yes. Okay, in this website, you can find different topics. For example, imagine you can pick animals, for example. And here you will find a lot of questions. So yeah. you can pick a question and answer. This could be a very good practice if you want to develop your speaking skills. What animals best represent you? Ah, I think, and you start answering, okay? So you can pick the topic that you prefer. If you want to practice, you can scroll down, scroll down, and you will see the different topics. Ah, I want to talk about, I don't know, Shoppings, okay, click in shoppings and you will find a lot of questions too. So this can help you in your free time. You can practice these questions and answer it. That is going to help you a lot, okay? I'm going to send you this link uh, here in the chat. Mm -hmm. So it's a nice Thank website uh, that you can use, okay? If you want to practice, um, well, your speaking skills, okay? I'm sending the link. Okay. And uh, also you can record yourself and remember, siempre que nos trabamos, así como, ¿cómo digo esta palabra? Dictionary, okay? No nos quedemos con la duda. Let's go to the dictionary, eh, anotemos la palabra, take notes, write it down, and try to memorize it, okay? That is going to okay. help you a lot. Now, important, in the class, always participate. That is going to help you a lot, too. So don't be afraid to make mistakes here in the class. Here in the class, we can make mistakes. So always participate. All right? All right, teacher. <laughs> very Thank good. You. Thank you. You're very welcome. I don't know if you have any other comments or any other questions before leaving. Uh, no. Quejas, reclamos. <laughs> Only. <laughs> en, en el buzón de quejas, no. <laughs> Mentira. We don't have it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, estoy, estoy bien, estoy bien, sí. Excelente. Sé que, sé que tengo que, que practicar más, pero por ahí vamos. Very good. Yes. Gracias, gracias. Okay, so don't give up. You are doing a great job. Keep going, okay? Yeah, thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Okay, so well, we are going to stop here. Thank you so much for staying. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye.